Etsy and um, or oh, did you pronounce it Etsy? How do you pronounce that name? Etsy, the, the kind of stacked shoes. I really like these things. I've, I've been meaning to buy them for a while. Um, they're the kind of trainer that everyone's sort of been wearing lately. I'm sure you guys have seen them. They're sort of like stacked. You call them Etsy, Etsy, Etsy's. I really like them. Again, maybe it's not. It's it's maybe it's a it's a shoe that's quite trendy, right? It's a shoe that maybe is not going to last uh bar a few seasons but again i don't buy my shoes i don't buy anything in my wardrobe based on trends so i'm not that bothered but i know some people might be a little bit hesitant to buy something like this because you know it's, it's a little bit trendy looking and it might not you know look good with other things later on because you know it kind of does um it kind of does ask for you to to wear a more uh loose fitting trousers you're not necessarily going to wear these with skinnies and it make it look good it's kind of cool for wearing maybe wider pants but i like the look of these trainers that um i'm not sure what the actual, what's the actual model called uh suede dune i think dune right angel dune shoe i really like them th 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 those are my favorites i've been having an iron for a while um so yeah angel i think they're called angel right so etsy angel shoe i really like the look of them so i've been liking them for a while i really like the chip they've got a chelsea boot too it looks cool this looks amazing isn't it? in suede um so they've got a chelsea boot that i've been having iron up for a while which i think is here yeah this is the one actually on farfetch too which is fucking funny after i just trashed them but yeah who's, who's buying shit on farfetch just go straight to the store but yeah i think these look cool these chelsea boots look fucking amazing by them They're kind of stacked as well i think they look really really nice so yeah man look at that with the outfit it looks so nice and, and again i think that outfit too looks a bit dead because it's got skinny jeans rolled up i don't think anyone's wearing it because again that styling is horrible in it farfetch is a bit again it's they stock really good brands and stuff or whatever but it's a bit like it's a bit amateurish isn't it? the way they put stuff together styling wise they're really gonna have to level up a little bit stadium because it's not gonna doesn't look good but anyway yeah so um itsy makes some good things and at the moment they've got a gender neutral collection that they're putting together with h&m that i just saw um debuted actually on pause magazine i've got it loaded up here actually it loads up in time it says gender neutral but i'm not really sure why because it looks amazing to me it doesn't look that gen doesn't look that crazy um they really probably didn't need to call it a gender neutral collection i think and for the most part people could see what was maybe a bit too risky for them and just not cop it but yeah um it says your global fashion label h&m has just unveiled images of its latest collaboration with fellow swedish brand it it is it is i don't know how you pronounce it uh a gender neutral collection uh arriving in the color palette of uh, i don't know what color palette is i'm just gonna read it it's people that write copy for these websites and it must be horrible especially if you haven't got any other inside information or you're not really analyzing the collection you just end up writing about what you're going to see here itself in it. it's a bit dumb but hey um so yeah this jacket is fucking cool so it's sort of like a pvc coach jacket i'm assuming right it looks like a coach jacket but it's got it's a little bit elasticated at the bottom coach jackets are usually are not um and then it's got like a little bit of a ring pull for the zip you know going on those kind of you know bdsm vibes I fucking love it, man. I think it looks fucking cool as fuck. Um, and again, um, the same jacket. Is that the same jacket, right? Or is that the same, not the same jacket? I'm not too sure. But yeah, that looks cool. And then it's sort of like a snakeskin rain jacket. It looks quite nice. And it comes in a button-up shirt, which I'm sure will do really well for people that like those patterned shirts. A nice little sweatshirt with a utopia print screen on the front. The cut of the jumper looks fairly nice. No wrangling sleeve, which is annoying. That doesn't matter favorite type of sleeve i like on a jumper but you no know, nice little boxy fit maybe that's kind of in at the moment um again i think maybe they they are reversible it seems like right maybe it looks seems like yeah reversible sweatshirts nice tees and nice mute colors box nice boxy fits i think for the t-shirts which goes back to the gender neutral theme um some nice mum some nice mum jeans there the boots are fucking cool i like the boots my boots are really fucking cool again it's a collaboration with h&m so i'm assuming the quality won't be the best because they're going to be you know they're going to be fairly um well priced in order to kind of attract as many customers as possible but they look fairly cool and again they've got another train so yeah maybe this trainer might not be a good time to buy especially doing h&m collaboration it's going to be fucking everywhere but it looks so good man i really like this shoe i really like the shoes that they make especially even this kind of speed runner sort of thing they make stacked up as well it looks fucking amazing so yeah i recommend you check that out gender neutral collection with um etsy at the moment and some slippers too some slides everyone needs a pair of slides, which i might actually need to get a pair of i've always i never really got anything to kind of go out on a quick run out to the stores i mentioned earlier let's go tesco express and pick up some snacks and stuff i never have stuff i never have the right you know 
stuff to wear just to quickly go out and pop out I've always had to take my laces up put them on so I understand the slides thing it was it, was, it got a bit annoying because it felt like it was like a boy version of wearing um Uggs right in the in 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 the ends what girls usually do so it kind of looked a bit too sloppy especially with the guys I've got in my area they've always I don't know what it is I'm not sure if it's a black thing but they always wear sandals too small for their feet so their feet are always kind of enveloping over because or maybe they just have like wide feet syndrome like I do so no matter what size you buy they're always going to look like your feet always going to look bigger than the sandals stuff but um i need i think i need something that falls in between it uh, maybe those easy sandals might be a good example but they're, they're sold out everywhere i'm assuming isn't it? they're quite fairly priced actually those easy sandals which is very very surprising but yeah etsy gender neutral collection check it out check it in because it looks fucking incredible i think anyway it looks pretty pretty nice me like it me like it um what else is on the list here ba 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 oh alia made jordan ones yeah they look really nice so this is the girl i mentioned before previously she's like um an influencer on instagram so she's always wearing really cool outfits i really like some of her amazing margella looks she hangs around with all the virgil and that lot um a fairly pretty girl but uh, she's always she just drops really well i think her swag quote unquote is really really well done um especially for the influencer i see on social she's done a collaboration with jordan which you know um, I think I was quite critical than I just invested collaboration with Jordan, which didn't make any sense. I just think nowadays, um, Jordan brand isn't what we knew of it in the past. You know, right? Um, I remember Kanye West and his co cohorts of friends like Don C and stuff were a little bit annoyed when they weren't getting the props that they, uh, they didn't get the props that they deserved. I'm, I, I'm surprised during the time because they kind of popularized Jordan retros to the kind of general consumer. And I'm surprised they didn't do a collaboration. I know Don C did a collaboration, a few collaborations with Nike and himself, but I'm surprised that whole group didn't do a collaboration, a, a retro colorway flip of a Jordan. There was a time when they were all wearing Jordan 1s, all wearing Jordan 4s, like all wearing Jordan 3s, like the whole crew. Um, and nothing happened. Nothing kind of came of it. And I think maybe that was self-explanatory because I think that was during a time when Jordan Brand were very protective of their brand. They weren't letting anyone under the sun kind of do a collaboration. But now things have changed. Of course, with Farfetch acquiring Stadium because of $250 million. Have you seen the connection here? Everyone under the sun is getting a collaboration because everyone wants to sell their shoes. Because shoes, they, they're finding it hard to sell these shoes, right? You only have to look at the band Jordan ones to kind of see what's happening. You have to look at the um, the kind of um, repeated nature of the retros that keep coming out again and again and again. Black toes, this, that, cement freeze. They just they don't stop with the fucking collaborations with Jordan. So it goes to show that mainline Jordan isn't selling as well as it should be selling. Um, of course, because you know there's only so many Jordan ones one person could need. But that being said, I think Aaliyah made it a very 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 good job um, of her collaboration. Again, it's only a colorway flip but she really really uh utilized uh the the model at hand and kind of did a bit of a nod to the biotech dunks that came out a while back and i'm assuming there's a tie-in now because you know virgil that lot are trying to uh bring back the dunk so maybe there was a kind of nod to that but i really like how she did it and how she put it forward um it's up here as well i'm showing you on the screen so all suede upper which is fucking it's gonna be lush as fuck i'm assuming it's got lining because the the one that i liked um was the dunk that had no lining the nl dunk that because i've always had an idea about doing that as on the jordan i think that would look quite cool but i'm assuming there is a lining on it because i can see a little bit of the rubber on top there but it's all suede it looks like upper wise uh red toe with blue with navy blue on the toe box and kind of like a peach what kind of we'd call that a peach on the insole here mid and a bit of purple and navy essence but with a gray swoosh and i love the off-white sole that's something a lot of the brands have been doing quite recently now because it because i think Again, maybe it's a nod to the Tom Sachs um, Mars Yard that I, I, I have, but it picks up dirt really well and it kind of ages the sneaker without you wearing it too much if you want to have that kind of distressed look. Something similar what they've done with the Balenciaga Triple S where they've kind of, you know, added those kind of like dust uh, tea stains on the sole. But I really like it. I think the off-white look on, Jordan, on, on shoes in general look amazing. Like even the, the off-white... Um, Air Force Ones, the ones that came out during the Complex Con, that are just completely white, and then you chuck on an off-white sole, it just offsets the kind of like the bright, bright white with the off-white really, really well. And then again, it reminds me of kind of the vintage shoes I used to buy back in the day on on eBay. You know, the kind of because the first thing to go would be the sole cause, because of the polyurethane that was used there. But yeah, the the shoes look amazing. I'm not, I'm not really sure what the northern fur is on, on the on the tongue, but again, I'm not mad at the little detail there. But I, would, I think these are going to be fairly popular with um, male uh, buy, sneaker buyers too. I'm sure the girls are going to be all over these but i'm sure there's going to be loads of dudes that are going to buy them especially if you take off the little fur thing on the top or if you leave them on because depending i'm just not found the wax laces i always i'm always a, i'm always going to chuck those out so that's something i'll kind of switch out straight away but yeah 
uh, a really nice collaboration i think she did a really good job she's got a little signature here on the inside it must be nuts man for a girl like her like an influencer that's always been wearing kind of jordan type shoes to get a collaboration with jordan even though for me it's like kind of diluting the brand a little bit they were so protective of the brand a while back and now they're kind of letting anyone under the sun do collaborations for me it's a little bit you know as a sneak ahead i'm a little bit like ugh, but true by it but i think personally for her it must be such an amazing feeling to kind of like now be you know have your own fucking jordan one with your own little signature on the inside it's fucking insane and it's so distinctive as well what it looks like i mean there's no there's nothing else out there in the market looks anything like it and this is coming out when uh Viatek dunk on december 22nd on yep i'm sure it's going to sell out straight away so there's no way that's going to you know, that's not going to sell out. That's going to be very, very popular. So, yeah, she did a very, very good job on those um, Viatech dunks. Anyway, um, that might be a good place to end it because we're already at one one hour 20 and I've been blabbering on too much about people's Viatech dunks and shit. I've got loads of other things I need to catch up on, um, which I'll probably update on the show tomorrow and save some topics as well as per usual. But thanks again for tuning in to the Zing Show. This will be episode number 131. Imagine all these episodes I've been doing of late. Imagine if I kept this consistency when I was um, started this four years ago. Imagine where I would have been. Imagine! But let's not cry a spilt more because we are where we are now and everything happens for a reason motherfuckers but anyway thanks so much for tuning in episode number 131 of the zinger show as always check out my site zinger.com for all information regarding me if you want to see a full list of the books that i've been reading there's going to be a, a link to attach to the uh, description of the show notes too so you can check it out and you can buy a copy if you want on the old amazon store or wherever else you purchase the books from but apart from that it's been a pleasure talking to you as per usual i'll see you again guys tomorrow thank you for tuning in agostino out